English enthusiast. Welcome to another English Lessons with me. Today is an interesting topic. We are delving into the world of polite expressions. Specifically, we will explore advanced ways to say excuse me and explain how and when you should use these variations along with some examples. I know everyone is tired of hearing the common phrase excuse me, excuse me, excuse me because I am <laughs> and I, seriously I don't want to hear it anymore so you and myself today we are going to explore different ways I mean advanced ways to say excuse me without actually saying excuse me now let's elevate your language skills let's go first on our list is the classic and refined pardon me Use this phrase, pardon me, when you want to interrupt someone or when you're seeking someone's attention in a more formal setting or when you want to convey utmost politeness. Pardon me, are you finished, madam? This sounds more polite than saying, excuse me, are you finished, madam? Mm -mm, no. You can also say things like, pardon me for asking or pardon my frankness as a way of showing that what you are about to say is potentially intrusive or maybe a difficult question. For example, let's assume you want to know how much money someone earned last year. This is very intrusive and uh, kind of a difficult question to ask. So you don't just get up and uh, ask, excuse me, how much money did you earn last year? No, this is rude. Instead of saying, excuse me, how much money did you earn last year? You should politely say, pardon me for asking, how much money did you earn last year? This sounds more polite, less intrusive, and less annoying. A slightly more formal variation is the phrase, beg your pardon. This phrase adds a touch of sophistication to your language. Give it a try. Beg your pardon. But may I ask this question? This phrase can also be used when you want someone to repeat something they have just said because you didn't hear it or understand it. Beg your pardon, but can you repeat that statement? It's used to say sorry when you have made a mistake or you have done something wrong. I beg your pardon, I thought you were speaking to me. This phrase is also used to show that you strongly disagree or you are angry about something someone has said. I beg your pardon, young man, but you will not speak to me that way. You disagree or you do not like the manner in which this young man spoke to you. You are mad, you are angry, yet you want to maintain your character. You want to maintain this whole sophistication. So instead of just saying, Excuse me, young man, you will not speak to me that way. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Just so you continue to stay classy, you should use the phrase, I beg your pardon, young man, you will not speak to me that way. I hope I'm not interrupting. This phrase is used for situations where you want to express consideration. This is perfect when you are approaching someone engrossed in a task or conversation or a situation where a group of people are engaged in a conversation or an activity and you want to politely ask if you can join the conversation. It's also used when you want to seek the attention of someone engrossed in a conversation with other people. You can also use the phrase, may I disturb you for a moment to politely seek someone's attention. This is excellent for formal settings. Also, in a more professional situation, try excuse the interruption. This signals that you recognize and apologize for interrupting the current activity or conversation going on. When you want to make a request while being considerate, you should use the phrase, would you mind if I... Da, 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 da. For example, would you mind if I borrowed your pen for a moment? Another way to say this question phrase is, do you mind if I, da, 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 da. example, do you mind if I sit here? Now, I believe there is slight confusion between these two phrases. Many students, even native speakers, sometimes find it difficult to conjugate the verbs added to these phrases correctly. Now, 
let's use the verb borrow how are you gonna conjugate it when you use the phrase would you mind if i do that and how are you gonna conjugate it when you use the phrase do you mind if i do that now let me help you out here when you use the phrase would you mind if i do that you use the past tense of the verb so it's gonna be this way would you mind if i borrowed your pen for a moment when you use the phrase would you mind then you put the verb in the past tense and when you use the phrase do you mind then the verb stays in the present tense do you mind if i borrow your pen for a moment so this is the difference when you use the phrase would you mind the verb goes into the past tense but when you use the phrase do you mind it stays present clarify right would you mind if i borrowed your pen for a moment do you mind if i borrow your pen for a moment it's clear now now let's move on to the next for a more polished and formal approach you should use the phrase i wonder if i could have a moment of your time this is also ideal for professional or business settings you can simply say do you have a moment this is a way to respect the other person's time now whenever you throw this question at someone the person might say yes of course then you can continue with the conversation but then again the person can also say mm, i'm a little busy in that case you would have to wait until later to speak with the person in situations where you feel you're entering someone's space without permission or otherwise intruding or interrupting we can use the phrase apologies for the intrusion for example i apologize for the intrusion but i believe you have something that belongs to me this conveys awareness and respect or it sends across awareness and respect to the other person in discussions or group settings if i may interject is a sophisticated way to politely contribute your thoughts without causing disruption the phrase if i may interject is often used when someone wants to politely interrupt a conversation or discussion to offer their input or opinion it acknowledges the speaker's respect for the ongoing conversation while expressing the desire to contribute valuable thoughts for example if i may interject i have something i would like to add and finally on our list we have the phrase might i have a word this phrase is often used to initiate private conversations or to discuss something in a discreet manner it adds a touch of formality and courtesy. let's say for instance you want to have a personal or private conversation with someone who happens to be seated among other people instead of just going there and talking about the whole thing in public in front of other people you call out the person using the phrase might i have a word and have your discreet or private conversation somewhere this also conveys a level of respect to the other person and there you have it 10 advanced ways to say excuse me without actually saying excuse me Elevate your English language, choose the right expression for the right occasion, and watch your interactions get even more refined. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, happy learning. Bye-bye.